first try. Who am I? Some will say just a guy. Mama called me a son. She ain't think I was wild. She say, look at me now. How I act like a clown. Thinking life was so funny, I almost didn't make it out. Started running the streets. Got a mean news beef. After fighting and flunking, I started leaving police. I had found academics, I almost greatly decreased. Still, I moved through the struggles while not accepting defeat. I had made it to a place called OIC, where they always trying to force us to the best that we can be. They just show us that it's riches in the future we can see. And they show us we can get it with some effort and belief. OIC impacted my life by giving me a schedule that I could work around because I don't always have time to do things, so it lets me work with a flexible schedule. They taught me how to work at a fast pace but and still learn something while I was working. OIC means to me is like an opportunity to still chase your dreams and goals no matter what you've been through before in your life, and I feel like that's really good because I feel like everyone deserves a chance no matter where you come from or what you, what's, your, what's your, like, your starting point. It impacted my life by at least giving me a chance because now a lot of high schools, you know, are able to help you as much as OIC has helped me, you know. They help me find, like, a try to find a good job, you know, try to help me find a good apartment, so it's actually helped me out in a lot of ways. We're able to affect change directly with the youth um, of Philadelphia. They face significant challenges in their lives, and they continue to face significant challenges, and this is an opportunity for us really to intervene and create a new trajectory for those individuals. So we're giving them the opportunity to earn those workforce skills, workforce certificates, as well as gaining a high school diploma and graduating from a high school here in Philadelphia. Leon Sullivan was a giant of a man. He cared about the people in the city of Philadelphia. He's an activist, that he's a Baptist minister, a civil rights leader. Well, Reverend Sullivan in 1964 founded Philadelphia OIC for those who are underserved the population here in Philadelphia. And within that same vein, Philadelphia OIC Workforce Academy was also established. The wise person will always take time to understand, I just need to show a little love. I just need to show a little love. And so when I think about that, it's really um, preparing a whole generation of people to take over and be leaders. Lee and Sullivan would be so happy just realizing in one year what they've done and the number of students that they graduated last year. If we really do a lot of work and help to grow and build our youth, then we can ultimately do a lot for this, this community and this world. It's the impact of the power of love that goes a long way. Well, Leon Sullivan won it was for all the kids to have a good future, so I guess I'm doing that by just building my own. He had a dream. We live in that dream. We we are what he wanted us to do. Like as as a black as a black community, like we're not supposed to like you know fall behind. We're not supposed to like be the statistic, and we need to succeed. We need more of that. And he given us that opportunity to this day. When I think of Leon Sullivan's legacy, I think we living it out just by using the tools that what he created here is giving us so that we can like get ourselves to a better place and then go out and start helping people on our own. I think we're living on his legacy from every single person that graduates, every single job that somebody gets and every single mouth that that job feeds, every single home that gets provided and every single person that gets inspired to go out and do better. I think I'm living on his legacy because when I think he was first creating this, I don't think he, he could have imagined it would grow to be this big and how it's still growing. I think I'm living out that legacy as perfect as he would, you know, expect as a child that, you know, who didn't get what he needed to get, but came back for redemption. But I want people to think about me. I want people to think I was an excellent person. I want to graduate college and get a degree in digital media and in business. I believe the future entails for me a lot of success. I'm explaining me, and I'm trying to graduate. Never worry about the deceivers, cause they just agitate. Just like my little bigger look, we'll see them dudes a featherweight. One day I'ma wake up while I'm living in a better place. For right now, I just stick to the books. 
When they search for the hundreds, I'm finding places to look. I'm not into the people that's trying to label as crooks. So I show all my others a transformation for good. That's it, man. Turn it off. <laughs> Good.